the big top. This is uh, unique in that Meat Circus has only one vault. Why is that? Were you, were you getting tired by the end, and you're like, I don't want to do, I don't want to do two for Meat Circus. Uh, yeah, I think this is a total afterthought, right? No, this is the most important. This is one that I wanted oh. to do somehow. I, I wanted to have this be a cutscene in the game or something, but I could never. I just wanted to have this tragic explanation of why uh, Coach Oleander has so much has such an issue about being small. Uh, well, let's just get into it. Here we see. Baby Coach Oleander. Isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cute. He's got a propeller in his head, which is actually operating. Yeah, bzzz, That's what it's gets actually him spinning. going. Yeah, I guess because he's running. Right. And he's uh, in the middle of a meadow full of tiny, tiny little vacation houses. <laughs> right. And a bunch of fried eggs all over yeah, the place. Fried eggs and little tiny, or maybe it's beekeeping. No, those are rabbit the, hutches. Oh, they are rabbit hutches. It's, yeah, it's dawn in the in the rabbit hutch area. And he runs in, and he looks at the bunnies. And look how happy he is in the next one. He's just big, bright-eyed looking at those bunnies. Yeah, yay. I feel like, is there something wrong with these bunnies? Because I feel like this is the sort of thing where we reveal terrible faces. No, no, they're happy faces. Yeah, that was going to psych you out. But there's big fat bunnies and then the one little tiny bunny. Because in the game, you see like these big fat bunnies and you see these little tiny bunnies. And so this little tiny bunny is like the runt of the litter. Oh, yeah, runt of the litter. So this is the one you see in the nightmare level that hops out of that egg. Same one, right. Or hops up to you when you're in the egg. This is the little tiny one. That, and, 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 and the coach loved it, but it's the runt of the litter just like him. So they feel really close. And you can see in the next one they fall in love. Oh, he's like, oh, let me, let me hold the side of your head. Let me, yeah. Pet your cheek. Pet oh, your he's... cheek. He's like, that's so sweet. Thank you. And they're best friends. They've created um, a, a actual heart. Nothing could go wrong. Oh no, a shadow. Here we see. Oh, Sh the butcher. Shadow. <laughs> his shadows. His shadows are always. Not good. The worst. I just realized, wait a minute, is Oleander a criminal? He's got striped. Oh, yeah, he's wearing, he must have broken out of Alcatraz. Oh, man, this is his first thing. Hightail it. <laughs> go, go straight to the bunny thing. I need to find bunny right really quick. It's been ten years since I've seen a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, man, so he's in, uh... He's the shadow of the dad comes, and he's like, that cool. rabbit's no good for anything. He's a runt. Give it to me. Rah. I always thought uh, here you can see how big he is in the next frame and how pointy his fingernails are. I always thought he looked like um, Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like yeah. He does kind of look like Lee Marvin. He kind of was also looks like my grandpa, but my grandpa's mo very pleasant. Yeah, he's, he's changed. Mike looks like my grandpa. My grandpa. You know what he was? A butcher. Weird, really? Weird. Weird. Yeah. Weird. That's an interesting fact. It's just strange. Was he mean? Did he? Uh, Killed my bunnies. He did kill your bunnies. No, but I had a friend uh, growing up who had uh, bunnies, and he did have this little like slaughtering area in his backyard. There was like a uh, a shelf that was bolted onto this fence, and it had a bunch of tools hanging by it. And mm -hmm. the shelf just had this kind of like permanent perma blood stain on it because that's where the dad would just like haul over the bunnies and just slaughter them. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. And you saw that? Did you? See I never that? saw it happening. But I mean, if you raise bunnies for meat, you gotta have some place to uh, take their pajamas off, as they say. He's so mean. He's like, I'm going to take the smallest thing here. They're going to take this bunny, pick it up by the ears, and take it away from you, and take it over to my kidney bean store. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's all dude. I sell kidney beans. He's all, not the kidney bean store. No. Don't it's stretch out. Don't stretch out, out, out his ears. Look at how his ears are so stretched out. I know. That's the worst thing. This is really violent. Oh, this, this one's making me sad. I bet he could have caught him if he didn't have the drag from the propeller helmet going the opposite direction. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably true. If he could just le leaned his head forward, he probably would have been able to fly up. So this is your lesson, son. If you really want to catch me, take that stupid hat off. <laughs> I'm going to the kidney bean store, but First. surely this will turn out well. Oh, gosh, look at that. That's a lot of tears coming off of the coach. Yeah. 
Tears. Like a lot and of sweat. tears. Why did he watch? Why did he go? Over? Why didn't he just? I don't know. Maybe he thought he could stop him. Here's the dad. He's ch- butchering the bunny. The bunny's pretty tiny. Very tiny, dude. But he looks like he's got a human nose. Who? The bunny. Oh, That's really? a detail I never noticed until he's got like a human nose. And he's stretching his ears out, which is, are going to slow down the, the blade of the cleaver as it comes down, but I don't think they're going to really <laughs> help him very much. Not against that cleaver, dude. Not against that cleaver. You know the propeller? I was just playing the game the other night, and there's that propeller in the coach's house. I mean, his little school classroom in the in the camp. There is? Okay. Yeah, like the roof. Remember, they live in these kind of canopy tree forts. Oh, I and mean, uh, there's like a a, a, a seam in the uh, tree fort, and like there's these propeller blades that spin. I think they cool off the classroom. Oh, right, 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 right. Is that, that that's was... obviously what these are a reference to? Wow, that's really really interesting. Probably didn't even realize you did that, did you? And he's eating a huge, a white vanilla cake. Mm. Or that's something else that's really hilarious. Mm. Stick of butter. <laughs> yeah, but the coach says, oh, I want to scream, but I've got a huge stick of butter in my mouth. Oh, Dad, oh, wow. it's one thing to cut this. But I hate to stick this stick of butter in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. 